Stellaris, a Paradox grand strategy game, which allows you to explore the universe, discover ancient wonders, and make allies or enemies through diplomacy and war. The galaxy is on fire, with the war to end all wars drawing ever closer. Will the players unite against the darkness or fall one by one into oblivion? In the previous episode, four of our players formed a federation to conquer the mighty Leviathan. After hearing the echoes of their victory, a dangerous and powerful fallen empire awoke. No, no, they're coming for me. Where's huge fleets? <laughs> Oh my god, let's everyone return home. So we are now officially at war with the Awakened Empire and they are already moving into our territory. That is not great. We need to engage at short range, that's the key part. Because if we engage at long range, they will destroy a lot of our ships before we even get close enough to fire. So little do they know is that the Fallen Empire that has recently awoken is actually being controlled by me, which means that I have all the firepower. I am the final crisis. So the worst has happened, and it's exactly what I expected. This fallen empire has stopped being quite so fallen. They've picked themselves up, dusted themselves off, and told everyone else in the galaxy they're an idiot. They're now sending their 58,000 size fleets through my systems, and because I just fought a dragon, no one's at home. So when they come a-knocking, uh, they're gonna bust down the door. The Apathy regulators have declared war, and I've been drawn into it, so I'm gonna send my fleet to hopefully help out the techno babbles or the totally not robots. Yeah, they're the other side of the galaxy. So, yeah, I'm sure they can hold us. Everything will be fine. Uh, but I'm, yep, sending my entire fleet. Oh, actually, that one fleet is more than my entire... Oh. No, we could be in trouble. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. I only have... Uh, 18k for now, so... Uh, I hope I can help, but uh, I'm not sure how much. So we need to gather our forces and then try to destroy them. I, together, have about 30. 30, oh, almost 40. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start building ships. Um, cruisers? Oh, I can, I can afford one cruiser. That's a start. Anyone gonna come and help me? I don't suppose anyone's gonna come help me. I'm on my way. Yay! Space friend. It's just going to take a few years. Oh. But praise be to Noot Noot. Yep, yep, praise be to Noot Noot. Cool. I've got a bloody penguin coming for me. <laughs> oh, that fleet is so big. Right, well, that's one system gone. Two systems gone. <laughs> Do I have any defences over here? I have a couple. That's not going to slow them down. I wonder how Marbazir is doing. Are they coming through his his neck of the woods? They are. You're doing okay there, Marbazir. Uh, not really. No. <laughs> no. None of my fleets are at home. So. Yeah, my systems my systems are getting invaded already, and my fleet is on the other side of my empire. Ah. Uh, can we gather in one place? Yes, we should. But first, I need to upgrade to jump drives because I haven't done that yet. Cool. On the other side of the galaxy. The Squid Folk Collective and the Space Geckos aren't really affected by the rise of the Fallen Empire yet. In fact, things seem to be quite calm. Yeah, one thing at a time. I don't know what sleeping awakening means, but it doesn't sound good. Let's just stay away from that. Let's just stay over here in our nice safe corner of the galaxy for now. We've got space lobster refugees. Interesting. I think I'll let them work. I'll put them to work. Welcome from your war-torn home world. Go to work in the mines. We are just waiting for those oh-so-beautiful titans to finish. 
And then I'm going to rain down death and destruction on the last of the Raider territories. I, even though they've got a butt ton of uh, void dwellings. Ah, oh, there we go. The Titans are ready. Look at that, 57.1k. Okay, that's fine. Let's just let's just grab these Titans. Let's send them in. Let's pay back against the Raiders. Don't need the squids this time. 57.1k. That's gonna be enough. Two Titans. Yeah, that's plenty. Oh, great. There, yeah, that was that was a trap. That was oh dear. <laughs> Ace Beck, however, feels that it's a little bit too calm, so he's pushing his magic buttons and sending some more marauders into the battle. Well, I thought I could take out the raiders, but no. There's a lot of dead geckos about. Many, many dead geckos. Why? What have you done? Why? That, that was him. That was him. It was... I had nothing to do with this. He was supposed to be my friend. <laughs> and now he's now look what he's done. <sighs> While the space geckos attacked the marauders, Acebeck decided to awaken the Great Khan. A Great Khan can unify a marauder empire, and once this happens, the empire becomes a horde and will invade anyone in the galaxy who won't submit to the Khan's rule. Oh, oh look, they're all heading towards my territory. Oh, no. It's a bad day to be a gecko. Thankfully, I did build up a Citadel space station, so I'm able to hold them off. They can't get through to my territory for now, but if I don't build up my ships again quickly, then I'm gonna be in trouble. So the Raiders are a horde knot. Great, great. I've got some questions from your space buddy. We're getting refugees in from the space lobsters. Yeah, do you, are you taking in my, my refugees? Space friend? Oh, space friend. Space friend. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take you in. Thank you. Ooh. Hi, space friend. Hi, space friend. What did you do? Oh, uh, I went in to kill some raiders. Nobody told me about the horde. Have you seen how strong they are? Uh, I, I felt firsthand I lost two titans and 57k's worth of uh, fleet. They're on my border too. Ah. Um, I'm glad that we've got a Khan to deal with now. I can't deal. <laughs> you can't deal. <laughs> oh, lobsters. <laughs> I mean, have you got any ships? I've got a few. How do you, how do you feel about helping your good old I pal? I feel like they'll uh, die because uh, I don't have enough. I mean, they're blocking you from getting through I here. I didn't even notice that they were on, on the way. Good. 18k. How many you got there? Uh, oh, yeah. not enough is the answer. I have enough in total. But oh, oh, oh God, um, you okay. might want to go. They're, they're coming. Run. That's not good. That's really not good. Where's my other fleet? It is uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About oh, ten jumps away. Uh, I lost some systems to the Awakened Empire right now, and I will have to coordinate with Technobubble Empire and possibly other members of the Federation. Otherwise, I likely won't stand a chance. I definitely won't stand a chance on my own. So I'm going to need help. It's time for all the players to meet at the war table and discuss how they're going to deal with the crisis. Gentlemen, the galaxy is on fire. What did you do? Attack raiders. I thought they were weak and then they became a horde. Um, I've heard of your plight because I'm taking in your refugees right now, so I, I, I've heard about the awakening. However, the raiders have multiplied into a horde of the great Khan of raiders. Um, so right now, yeah, the, the galaxy is on fire. More specifically, lots of space geckos are on fire. Um, how's your side of the universe? Our side of the what? universe is also on fire. We have the Awakened Empire with four massive fleets that we definitely can handle on our own. And that's going to be a problem. We are moving closer and closer to our capital worlds. I think the main point is that we all need each other's help. Yeah. With the Great Khan, with the Awakened Empire, and we can't handle them individually on our own. We should all unite under the same banner. Mine, of course. Eh. <laughs> I agree on the united part. The problem, though, is that 
we can do that, but we still can't have one unified front because if we send our troops to help you, our territory is done for. Yes, we need to split so, our efforts. Specifically, the geckos are definitely dead. Yeah, he's if what? I leave right now. How strong are the is there, are the Rangers? There are several fleets floating around. One's at least 30k, and then they've got lots of defenses within their system worlds. Okay, so you don't you really have a problem. I don't there's four of you. There's four of you. There's, there's two there's, of us. And there's also one gecko on fire. There's also it's right. clear that panic is starting to spread among the Federation members. After a lot of debate, they finally decide that Jay should send his fleet to bolster the squid folk and space geckos against the Great Khan. Right now I have the most weak fist fleet of the Federation, so I should send them to you. It's 18k, should, would it be enough to fight the raiders? I, I think 18k with our fleets Boy. combined should be able to take them out. Okay, so you keep the Foreign Empire away and uh, I go help them quickly and then we all come back through the whole wormhole and then we try to smash the Foreign Empire together. Sounds good. Yeah. Good. I said you might. No, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Yes. A great war is on its way, and the players have to split their forces to be able to stand a chance against the darkness. They now have two fronts to defend, one in the south and one in the north. Gaming FTL is in dire need of finishing repairs on his megastructure. However, something seems to have happened. My first true love, this sentry array, Ah, oh, the megastructures that could have been. It appears the Fallen Empire have repaired it for me. How kind. They didn't seem to refund me my minerals. So that's lost. But we have to move on. Construction complete. Come on, space station. Hold. Hold. Oh dear, we've lost all shields. It's down to just armor now. I'm trying to get my other ships over. Jump in quickly. Oh, they're still blasting with everything they've got from their glory class ship over here. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, they're pulling back. No, 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 it's just down to the Titan. How much health have we got? 87k. We have more than they do. Blast it away. Okay, we should hold. We should hold. I've sent my fleet, it's at the wormhole, but I cannot oh, move no. through. But I have a construction ship that is three systems away. So it will, uh, it will come uh, really, really fast. Cool. Yeah, my space stations, uh, my citadels managed to hold off a 17k enemy fleet. Nice. So that's, that should help. <laughs> yeah. And the Great Khan's still off down the bottom. So hopefully we can uh, tear apart their main fleet. Besides sending his fleets over, Jay is building something that could change the tide of war against the Fallen Empire. I'm trying to build a Colossus. It's a doomsday weapon. And the one I've chosen is uh, using a neutron swipe. So it swipes all the population from a planet without touching any of the infrastructure. Very useful. Uh, I just hope it will be built uh, fast, fast enough so uh, before the war ends and we all die, of course. Is Jay building a doomsday weapon? Even larger than a Titan, the Colossus is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. While the mobile orbital station isn't able to engage in ship-to-ship -ship combat, it's capable of complete planetary devastation. The Galactic Dominion Complete's Colossus project, could that save us? Thank you so much for watching the YouTube War. It was a lot of fun to do this series, and obviously this is not the end just yet, as uh, more episodes all will be coming in your general direction 
in the very near future. This uh, particular video was made possible by Paradox Interactive, and in addition, they have given me the opportunity to extend my hand to the community at large and uh, give I well a discount code for the Paradox store, so you can get 60% off of the base game. So if you were just new with uh, the whole Stellar scene or you want to upgrade your version, what you can do here is you can follow the link that is in the description of this video and uh, you will be able to claim 60% off off your base game purchase. All you got to do is just uh, throw your stuff in the cart and then use the tag A-Spec in the coupon box and that will trigger the discount. Like I said, uh, very much uh, thank you to Paradox Interactive for making this series possible. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to go and wrap it up here. Until next time, till the next episode, good luck out there, and remember, it's good to be the king.